Hey everyone, this is Ben with RegisteredNurseRN.com and in this anatomy lesson, I am going to pump you up by talking about one of the most popular muscles in all the body, the biceps brachii. The biceps brachii is spindle shaped and it is located in the anterior compartment of the arm. And this muscle is so popular, even though you have an estimated 650 plus muscles in the human body, all someone has to do is come up to you and say, hey, show me your muscle. And you almost instinctively know they are asking to see your biceps brachii development. Now, why is this muscle called the biceps brachii? Let's break down the name because there is meaning behind it. Well, the prefix bi means two, and the word seps comes from an ancient word that means head. So you put it together, you have two heads in this muscle, which is exactly how many heads it has, usually. In some people, it can actually have more than two heads, but typically it has two heads. Now, as far as the brachii part of the name, that just simply comes from an old word that means of the arm, which is important because you also have a biceps femoris, which is located in the posterior region of the thigh. So when you put the name together, biceps brachii means it's a two-headed muscle of the arm. So where does the biceps brachii originate and insert in the body? Well, both heads or origin points of the biceps brachii originate at the scapula bone. And there is a long head, which lies more laterally or toward the outer part of your arm. And there's a short head, which lies more medially or on the inner part of your arm. Now, in some people, whenever they train their biceps brachii and have a very low body fat percentage, you can actually see that split in the biceps when they flex. Now, the short head originates at the coracoid process of the scapula and the long head originates at the supraglenoid tubercle of the scapula, and its tendon actually runs down between the intertubercular groove at the proximal end of the humerus bone. And those two tendons are gonna form into a muscle belly, which then forms into a single tendon that inserts into the radius at the radial tuberosity, as well as a bicipital aponeurosis in the cubital fossa of the elbow. Now let's talk about the fun part, which is the function or action of the biceps brachii. And Remember, the head or the origin point of the muscle is typically where it's going to be anchored down in a very solid way and it's not going to move very much, whereas the insertion point is going to be the part that actually moves whenever the muscle contracts. So when it contracts, it's going to pull up on that radius bone, causing elbow flexion. And I have a video on those body movement terms like flexion, abduction, if you need a quick review on that. So when you think of elbow flexion in terms of an exercise, if you want to build big biceps, you've got to do curls for the girls. And any type of curling movement, especially with the palms facing up, is going to train the biceps brachii. And some popular exercises include chin-ups, barbell curls, dumbbell curls with or without supination, preacher curls, cable curls, incline curls, and concentration curls. You can actually adjust the width of your grip to get a deeper contraction in the different biceps heads. For example, when you use a wide grip on a barbell, it will activate the short head a little more, making the bicep appear thicker and more separated as it develops. Using a narrow grip is going to activate more of that long head bundle of the biceps, giving a better biceps peak. And if you actually look at a picture of the biceps with that split in it, you can see just how important that long head of the biceps is to the overall appearance of the bicep peak. And Arnold Schwarzenegger has said many times that the exercise he used to build his huge biceps peak was the concentration curl. And that's where you perform elbow flexion with the arm rotated internally. And one study actually measured the activation of the biceps brachii during various curling exercises. And the study actually found that the concentration curl activated the biceps brachii much more than all the other curling exercises tested. Now, aside from elbow flexion, which is an important function of the biceps brachii, this muscle also helps with supination of the forearm, causing the palms to face up. That's why some bodybuilders like to include a curling exercise that utilizes supination during the movement. And one technique you can use is just to start with the weight down by your side with the palms in a neutral position facing medially 
and then as you bring the weight up you're going to supinate the forearm during the flexion and you're going to end the curling motion with the palms facing up and when you do this move it's important to tense the muscle at the end of the movement and really twist the pinky side of the hand up as much as possible and then of course you reverse the motion on the way down and finally the biceps brachii can also play a minor role in things like arm flexion as well as stabilization of that shoulder joint and as far as the nerve supply is concerned the biceps brachii is supplied by the musculocutaneous nerve okay that wraps up this quick video over the biceps brachii you can take a free quiz on our website by clicking the link in the description below in addition we have a whole playlist of anatomy videos that you might want to check out thank you so much for watching and please subscribe